Good Monday evening, folks. Our top news story. Newfoundland and Labrador reported no new cases of COVID-19 today. Currently, the province has six active cases. Of those cases, one person is in hospital due to the virus. 76,492 people have been tested. And in other news, the RCMP arrested a 22-year-old Happy Valley Goose Bay woman for impaired driving following a tip from the public. On Monday morning, police received information of a suspected impaired driver departing a local bar. Officers patrolled the area and located the described vehicle parked at a residence in the community. The investigation led police to the arrest of a woman for impaired driving. Her license was suspended and the vehicle was seized and impounded for 30 days. And in international news, questions are being raised about how a California man managed to hide in a secured area at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport undetected for three months. The accused told police that he was afraid to fly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He now faces felony criminal trespass to a restricted area of an airport and misdemeanor theft after he was arrested on Saturday. In your weather forecast, a fairly unsettled weather pattern is going to be the story uh, weather-wise this week. I'll have those details right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet, connect to what matters. You may recall as we started out the month of January, it was fairly quiet, fairly warm across most of Newfoundland and Labrador, and it seems to be the general theme with weather, when we get some good weather, we do end up paying for it. That's going to be the story this week. There are a couple of weather alerts in effect. We'll start out with the autumn portion of the province, where there are special weather statements in effect uh, for the Avalon Peninsula portions of uh, uh, central Newfoundland, uh, such as uh, Clarenville through to uh, Bonavista, and then uh, in Labrador, there's a winter storm watch in effect for coastal sections, Nain and Hopedale and those areas. Uh, for the special weather statement, we could end up seeing a, a storm move through the area Thursday into Friday. I'll get into those details in just a moment, but first the forecast tonight across Newfoundland it is unsettled for some areas. Uh, in St. John's tonight, we'll get down to a low of 2. We're looking at uh, fairly overcast conditions this evening with some rain and fog after midnight with about 5 millimeters expected. As we head into central Newfoundland, looking at cloudy periods with a chance of flurries and zero. And in Corner Brook, well, we're going to get down to a low of minus 3 tonight, and we are going to see some flurry activity with about 1 to 3 centimeters expected by the time we get to tomorrow morning. The forecast across Newfoundland tomorrow. It is going to continue to be unsettled. We are looking at flurries for the majority of the autumn portion of the province, with the exception of the Avalon, where we're going to see some rain and some snow and some gusty winds as well. Labrador tomorrow, we're looking at sun and cloud with a chance of flurries. These temperatures here is going to be what it's going to be like when you wake up tomorrow. By the time we get to the afternoon, temperatures are going to fall quite a bit, and it is going to be quite cool by the time we get to the afternoon. The forecast now for St. John's tomorrow, we're looking at about 5 to 10 millimeters of rain and roughly about 2 centimeters of snow and a daytime high of 2. As we head into Wednesday, we're looking at a high of minus 3 with uh, a chance of some flurries. There is the potential that we could see a system move through on Thursday. It does have the potential to bring some significant amounts of snow. Models are still not really in good agreement, so uh, it is something worth watching. Uh, just keep an eye out for the potential uh, the potential for uh, some significant snow on Thursday. Flurries likely continuing Friday through to your Saturday. And then as we head into central Newfoundland, sun and cloud tomorrow with a chance of flurries. And then Wednesday, sun and cloud on a high of minus 4. Minus 5 for your Thursday with sunny breaks. And uh, Friday, we could see some uh, significant amounts of snow in Gander. Saturday, we're looking at uh, a chance of uh, some, I should say we are looking at some flurries and a high of minus two. And then in Corner Brook, it's not necessarily the snow we're talking about. It's more so the cold weather that's going to impact the region over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, we're going to pick up about, uh, about a trace to two centimeters of snow and a high of minus three. 
As we head into your Wednesday, looking at flurries, and we are going to cool down to minus 8 <coughs> with a wind chill of minus 12. And then for Thursday, sun and cloud with a wind chill of minus 12. Friday and Saturday, we could potentially end up seeing some snow in the Cornerbrook area as well. That's a look at your news and your forecast to now. For more local information, you can head on over and check out our website, newfoundnews.ca.